Opening in 1912, the Gaiety went through several incarnations before closing in 1985. For a couple of years in the mid-70s, it was a so-called adult theatre, the Eve, before ending up as the Colony. Although located downtown, it had a pleasant neighbourhood feel. I came to Winnipeg for the first time in 1954 to continue my education. I had been brought up in a northern mining town, and uh, although we had uh, a movie theatre in our hometown, I'd never experienced anything like the magnificence of the theatres in the Winnipeg area. The Gaiety was just down the street from us, uh, on the north side of Portage, across from the bay, so it was only about a block away from the college. At that time, musicals were very much in style, and uh, The Gaiety was featuring a movie called Brigadoon. Um, Brigadoon was a fantasy movie. It was uh, set in the highlands of Scotland in a mythical village called Brigadoon. And uh, the theatre had uh, put an ad in the paper saying that any Scot who shows up in his uniform would be admitted free. Well, being a student with very little cash to spare, a free movie sounded pretty good, so a friend of mine, uh, we thought, well, let's try it. Neither of us were Scots, of course, but uh, plaid skirts were very much in favor at that time, and uh, we phoned a couple girls, uh, friends that we knew in the, uh, in the women's residence, and uh, could we borrow your plaid skirts for a night? And uh, yeah, they're kind of wondering about that, but they said, yeah, okay. So we put the skirts on, and gallop down to the gaiety, uh, as they say, just a block away, and uh, showed up at the ticket office. Well, the, uh, the clerk at the, at the ticket office, she took a look at us and uh, said, uh, uh, just a minute, guys, we, I'll have to call the manager on this. The manager came down and uh, he took one look at us and uh, uh, he'd have none of it. He said, uh, well, you, you guys don't look like Scots, and uh, then he uh, referred to something that should be hanging down from our belt, which we didn't have. Oh, we forgot that. He said, no, sorry, boys, you can't come in. So we galloped back and uh, <laughs> somewhat embarrassed, but <laughs> that, was, that was the experience of the gaiety. When I was 17, I had just graduated from high school, and I went to a commercial college to learn how to be a stenographer in case I couldn't make a living as a performer. And uh, I hated the place. I was paying for it myself. So I would skip classes and go down the street to the Gaiety. And the particular movie that I remember watching about three different times was The King and I. And I ended up doing The King and I in two different roles as an adult. So I already knew all the words. <laughs> Every once in a while, uh, it would be interesting to try and catch one of those uh, Disney animal flicks. And uh, I recall uh, waiting in line for a fair period of time in either January or February. I can't remember just when. I think the title was called Perry the, Fr the Flying Squirrel. And it was a, one of those Disney animal movies that uh, the Gaiety Theatre on Portage and Colony charged uh, 25 or 50 cents admission uh, because it was an upscale theatre. And I remember freezing uh, in line waiting to, to get in to see this and it was kind of a neat quasi-documentary kind of thing. It's a Saturday, time to make your way Grab your friends and go to the local picture show. Get in line for the Saturday matinee. 